The global pandemic has changed our lives in many profound ways, and many of those changes are here to stay. From how we grocery shop, how we bank, to how we work have all been impacted and shaped by COVID-19. These changes have fueled the growth of selected industries. Being able to recognize those industries will be critical for your success in the future. This video will show you the 10 hyper-growth industries you have to know in the post-pandemic world. Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Maggie. As we all know, the pandemic has been going on for more than two years now, and it has brought about previously unimaginable changes to our lives. And these changes will in turn reshape future hyper growth industries. I am definitely not an expert on any of these industries, but I think it's important to learn their English words because these industries is in every aspect of our lives and it might come up in conversations. So I wanted to share with you what I learned. Let's get started. First one, Internet of Things, IOT. 也就是物联网 The global IoT market is expected to reach a value of 1,386.06 billion US dollars by 2026 from 761.4 billion US dollars in 2020 at a compound annual growth rate of 10.53% during the forecast period. The Internet of Things describes physical objects that are embedded with sensors, processing ability, software, and other technologies and that connect and exchange data with other devices and systems over the internet or other communications networks. 感觉非常复杂, 可以通过计算机来掌控我们的生活 没有社保号的人而专门设计的APP，只要下载了这款APP，不用来美国，甚至不用到访任何一个银行网点，在家就可以申请的FDIC城堡的美国本土银行的账号。在AppNet，你可以直接用你的中国身份证就可以申请账户
AI， 它还有这么一个 I 这样子的音在，中间不要把它省略了。AI number three. Cyber security. This one is pretty self-explanatory because with all these internet activities disrupting industries and changing the world, cyber security is definitely important. I think it's very important to know a term called cyber security talent gap. 也就是说，在网络安全这一块有一个巨大的人才缺口。A recent estimate shows that over 3.5 million cybersecurity roles will go unfilled in 2021 globally. So, if you're trying to choose a major in college, consider. Cybersecurity number four, genomics, 基因组学。我觉得这个呢是非常非常专业，所以我们就不细说了。但是呢，里面有一些专门做基因组学的公司，我觉得这些呢可以记下，因为如果有人跟你聊天聊到了这些，最起码你知道它是基因组学的。一个是 gene sequencing。Gene sequencing, 这个是基因测序 Gene mining companies, gene mining companies, 这个是基因挖掘公司 Gene mining, functional genomics companies, functional genomics companies, 功能基因组公司 Bioinformatics companies. Bioinformatics companies, 生物信息公司 Next industry, renewable energy, renewable energy, 可再生资源 Renewable energy. 然后另一个词呢，我觉得这里面要记一下，就是 net zero carbon emission. Net zero carbon emission, 也就是净零排放 Next one, virtual reality. Virtual reality. The global virtual reality market size is suspected to reach 84.09 billion U.S. dollars by 2028, exhibiting a compound annual growth rate of 44.8 percent during the forecast period. 我觉得 VR 和前面的 AI 一样是我们非常熟悉的产业了。然后呢，也是我们生活当中经常说的一个词。所以呢，我觉得这里面呢，我们在中文的对话当中也会把 VR 说成。VR 或者是 VR， 所以呢，我觉得这一点呢要注意。如果在英文的 conversation 当中呢，你一定要把这个 VR 再稍微的发的圆一点。VR， VR。Number seven， shared economy。Shared economy. Shared economy is basically the use of technology to facilitate the exchanged access of goods and services between two or more parties. So, in our everyday life, common Airbnb, Uber, WeWork, these are all part of shared economy. Shared economy. Pay attention. Here, the last E and the second D are connected. There is a connection. Shared economy. So, there is a D economy. This is in there. Shared economy. Number eight, e-learning industry. Kind of my field, I guess. E-learning industry. Number nine, blockchain. Blockchain. I hear about this word all the time, and honestly, I'll read the definition to you guys, but I still don't really understand. A blockchain is a growing list of records called blocks that are linked together using cryptography. So, if you understand, please explain to me. I have no idea what it is, but it's in every aspect of our lives. The global blockchain technology market size is suspected to reach 394.6 billion U.S. dollars by 2028, according to a new report. It is projected to expand at a 82.4 percent compound annual growth rate from 2021 to 2028. Last but definitely not least is. Big data. 这里面我就注意一点，就是有的人把 data 也说成 data， 所以 big data 好像还挺少听到的。所以我觉得你可以直接就说 big data, big data, 大数据。Alrighty, that is it for today's video. Isn't that a lot of information? I was very excited researching and doing this video. I thought that I have. Lost millions of brain cells, but I'm really glad that I know this information now. Definitely check out the Velo app if you're interested in opening an American bank account. East West Bank is a very prestigious bank here in America that is very trustworthy. So check it out if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.